Good morning, it's Friday morning. I haven't been down the plot for about a week now. Lots been happening, of course, with me changing jobs and stuff like that. Uh, I also tried to, to play football last week and ended up going over on my own ankle. So I've done uh, I've done some damage to my ligaments. <laughs> you try and help yourself and your body just says, nah. <laughs> Anyhow, I just want to give you a quick look what's happening inside the giant house here. Yeah, we'll have a quick look what's happening in the garden because it is an absolute mess. I'll show you the good, I'll show you the bad, but I have got plans and I have got time off coming up for a good week so I can get down here, get sorted. The sunshine and the wet weather has not helped with the weeds, but it has helped with a few other things as well. So let's start with the good. So as you can see here, the last time since I've been in, there's been a week's worth of growth. Absolutely crazy. Look at the look at the giant kohlrabi. I'm immediately regretting putting them in so close to each other now. Immediately. <laughs> I did say it previously and I knew I'd done it wrong, but We'll have to wait and see what happens. This one here I'll probably end up taking out because it is small um, and it is, uh, obviously so I can get it. Uh, got a lot of slugs here, so the, the, the stuff has been helping, which has been great. But uh, see, that's, the, that's, the, that's a smaller one, smaller kohlrabi. We can just see the size difference between that one and that one. So yeah, I'll probably end up pulling that one. I might just, I might, I might end up just pulling a couple to be honest. So, well, I'll see what happens anyways. Right, but the rest of them, as you can see, I'm, I'm happy with them so far, considering they're direct in the ground. Same with that one. Same with that one. This one's a little smaller one as well, so I might end up pulling that one. That one's all right. That one's a smaller one, so I might pull that one. Uh, so that we've got some spaces. In fact, I'm going to do it. I am going to do it. I'm going to pull them. I'm going to, I'm going to make a start of the beetroot. Not really much growth on these. But, like I said, they're in. They're a lot smaller than what other people's are. I'll see how they react. If they don't do well in here, I'll just leave it. But it seems like the brassicas do enjoy inside here. So, something for next year to pick up a bond. These beds here, the three here, I'm going to put some uh, radish in. I've got three. I'll not be putting three in. In fact, I might just put a couple in. But I'll, wait, I'll, I'll put three in, and if one is not grown as well as the others, I'll just take it out. So, yeah, that's what's happening in here at the moment. And as you can see, the weeds are starting to come through as well. But look at them. Fantastic. Happy days. Inside the new brassica tunnel. Cabbages are doing well. These are all red giant cabbage. Got to come up with that one there, and that's all right. This one's doing all right as well. See, it's starting to be munched. So I'm gonna to have to have a keep my eye out for uh, for the perpetrators. You can see the weed control fabric as well getting pushed up, and the reason for that is because of the horsetail. Look at that. I'm just have to try and keep on top of it. It is already pushing through the the weed control fabric as well. So uh, any any kind of holes out like that, they will puncture through. I'll just stamp on them. See that there? Look at found the hole come through step on them but it's just a trying preventative measure but I they, these are the the giant green cabbage the second lot that I put in they're doing all right not too bad not too bad I lift them up lift out the way spot on right so yeah inside of here not doing too bad a couple of giant beetroot which are miles away but uh, let's go have a look at that good stuff. That's what's happening here. So this is where I put the tomatoes in the last time. As you can see, we've got the grapevine spreading its uh, its vines across, which is great. I wanted that to come all the way across here so it can go all the way to the end of here. And uh, it's doing its job, basically. We've got a couple of other vines coming down here. But we're starting to get some grapes on as well. Which is really good. Hopefully we're gonna have more than three bunches this year. Obviously it's still got the issue with the, the vine at the back, but I'll have to get behind there and get it sorted when I, when I come down. Anyways, the thing I want to show you. So last time on the last video was I believe uh, I was putting these tomatoes in. Now all of these tomatoes have started coming through, they've reacted well. And especially the ones that I put sideways, you couldn't even tell. So this is the one that I put sideways. You can't even tell that it was put in because it's starting to drop now as well. There's one that I put in just from the stem. It's already rooted in. Not just so, even just a side shoot. 
Look at that. It's starting to get roots on already, just from putting it sideways. Excellent stuff. Just a little experiment. -y. Yes, I speak foreign. <laughs> so we'll just put that back in there. Just leave that. Get a couple of extras off there. But aye, they're coming up now. Like you say, they just needed to be put in. So they're doing alright. They're gonna need a drink. Um it's a mess. Tidy up time. Let's have a look at the giant onions. So the ones on the left is the ones that I had in first. As you can see, they're coming on all right. I need to sort out this because, as you can see, the main growth isn't growing up the main stem here, yeah? so I'll have to sort that out. But, to a bit of grassroot. Looking good. I need to get in and tidy these off. But they're all looking uh, all right, to be honest. For me, anyways, a nice tall, tall, long necks. Get rid of the weeds that's been growing in there. I need to just... Mix that in. They, like I say, they need a drink. But aye, uh, that's looking all right. Not as good as uh, some, but I consider them to be neglected. It is what it is, isn't it? And uh, the ones I put in last time, they're bone dry. They need a good drink. But they've responded all right. They're still coming. They're still stretching up to the middle. There's no pests on here from what I can see. I'll give them a good spray of the day. Or some bug killer and some... Uh, some can I spray as well? So we've stepped into the first brassica tunnel where the cabbages and the swede are. As we can see here, cabbages have got a couple of different stages. We've got some loads of weeds as well. You see, they've done absolutely great with the weather recently. But she has one of the cabbages. You can't even see the tire underneath. <laughs> but they're nice and clean, which I'm pleased about. There's one. We've got another one here. Which, to be honest, looks like it's actually starting to heart up, which isn't good. So that's probably no good anymore. Because that really should be about the size of that. That is huge. And I think it's going to go too early. I think it's going to go too early. But, I mean, there's my foot. It's absolutely humongous. I think that's one to potentially watch, keep an eye out for. But you can see... I can't even see the tyre underneath anymore. <laughs> there it is there. So the tyre's done a good job, to be honest, keeping this up. Got to be careful at the back though, but that's absolutely massive, that. Massive. I just still, it's still, I'm still in awe of how big these things actually get. Absolutely great. And then the last one over here. It's another decent sized one. But you always get your favourite. You always get one that always texts you. And as you can see, that's the one for me. And you've got to think, I used to put pallet collars around. That's a good one. Right, I've got this one here as well, like I say. It's a decent size. So I might end up having one for the early show of Harrogate, fingers crossed. Might have this one, example, for the week later. Moving over, we've got the giant Swedes. Which are covered in ants. And the ants have eaten, going on the inside there. I don't know if they're actually grown, oh, they're eating away at the outside so I get some preventative for that. But uh, that's a good size. Yeah, we've got that one there. Got this one here as well. I say covered in ants at the moment, unfortunately. Looks like we've got some pests in here as well. That'll bring some sp the sprays in. Let's try and counteract them. Got this one here, which, what the hell is it? That's bloody underground, that one. Let's see what happens with that. We've got this one here. I've got peas all over as well. See what right them? Peas. I don't know where the peas have come from. Uh, see, it's not right size. See, all right. See, there's people with bigger ones. Got that one there. This one here is a small one. I'll probably end up just taking that out. To be honest. Fuck it. I will get that out. Very good. Got that one there as well. So I almost got to take this one. I'm going to give it a grander, see if he wants to pop it back in. But uh, I wasn't pleased with that one, so I'll just rip it. Might be a case of taking that back one out there as well, just to give the rest a chance. Selective, but uh, aye, that's what's happening in this tunnel here. Also got the, uh, the grapevine, the outside grapevine. Starting to come back to life. This fine I got off uh, Dave from Dave's allotment. So 
Oh, I need to get rid of them. Call Robbie because I need to go to right. Move into see what else we've got. So right, in the top green machine, I've just had pure neglect. I have not been down. These onions all need potting out ASAP. They're supposed to be the heavy onions. Oh, I'm tight with the tomatoes. They're gone. These are supposed to be heavy onions and all, and uh, I need a drink. I want to give them a drink now. Uh, I don't know what they're going to be. They'll probably go to sea, to be honest. That's, that's my my bad and looking after them, which is a bit uh, gutting, but it is what it is. But I turned up with a bad. The whole garden in the hole is an absolute mess. Actually, I've not been down. I normally keep on top of it. This was beautiful about a month and a half back. It's uh, it's all covered in weeds. So in here is all called weeds. I'm going to be putting the cabbages. No, the cabbages are the cauliflowers. So I've got to get this dug over. Put the cauliflowers in here as well. So I get that sorted out. Inside of here, I had all that tidy ready to go. All that tidy was ready ready to go. Look at the weeds, man. Absolutely crazy. I'm going to have to put the, the floor down, the weeds control fabric down here. Pick out all the bits on the outsides. I'll have to get that done before I put the, the cucumbers in, obviously. And the tomatoes in the middle. Get all that taken out. That bed that I scrapped over the top of. <laughs> absolutely covered uh, I have to sort that out as well we control fabric has done an array job yeah like for the uh, for the new structure and when I get paid I'm going to get some boards to go around the edge and I'm going to get this sorted out because I'm going to be putting the, the, the uh, onions in here um, and then just obviously just honestly just, just weeds just weeds 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 down here weeds all the beds are filled these giant beetroot have gone to seed from last year I've got the other bed there to sort out. Raspberry canes. I need to shift this so I can get the raspberries up. Just absolutely covered. All the way down. It's, uh, it's just madness. It was never like this a few years ago because I always had on, was always on top of it. I don't know what happened uh, with the weeds because I didn't have this much. It's crazy. Right, looking at next door. So just at the top looking down. All them beds, all covered. In weeds, absolutely nuts. I need to get all that tidied up. I've got the strawberries all coming up, which is nice to see. I'm gonna get rid of the weeds, obviously. Again, I'm gonna be picking some rhubarb today because, as you can see, we've got some decent sized rhubarb, some good rhubarb here, and that should come back through for September. If I pick this out now, because it's some nice big size, uh, nice big size chunks here. I'm just got to see. I'm going to shift this one because I did actually set. This is what. Shift out the way. I wanted some early stuff. Oh, I didn't. Oh, I must have moved it. Oh well, that's good. <laughs> Silly me. But uh, oh, there's some nice big stalks in here. Look at the size of the, the leaves. Absolutely massive. Then the size of that huge. I'll pick some of this before I leave. I've got. To, I'll be leaving shortly. Hey, but I'm leaf. I'll be leafing shortly, so I have to get all these beds sorted and get the rotavator out. Get them all there, uh, rotavated. Same with these beds here, these beds here, this bed here, this bed and down the bottom as well. I've got potatoes in here from last year. They're coming back through, as you can see. <laughs> Again. These, all these beds need doing over. And these down here at the bottom are the dahlias, which don't look like they come back to life, so I'll pull them out. But yeah, once again, just pure neglect. Pure neglect. Get all this pulled out. Oh, I'm probably gonna need a hand, like, need a hand. Get back on top. Another thing which I hate about this garden this absolutely detested horsetail it's coming in from the sides meet in the middle it's rotivated it is cultivating it see so, yeah, there's none down here so it's starting from there and coming across there's no point in trying to keep on top of it it is depressing but it is what it is just got to keep on digging it out but I, I have to get this all sorted Right, got my rhubarb all cut, plenty there for a rhubarb crumble. Take my, uh, take my head off. Uh, I'm at work all weekend, so it'd be difficult to try and do anything, to be honest. So uh, I might just pop this up, so it'll give you an update of what's happening on the garden. 
and then uh, look forward to catching us all Monday, Tuesday when I'm off. Mm -hmm.